You are about to see a Fix It Friday video, where a person, idiot, with very little technical skill or knowledge, will attempt to fix something. This is not a how-to video, and is likely to be factually incorrect, and at times, dangerous. Please don't copy Kip, and see this video for limited entertainment purposes only. Roll titles. <laughs> Welcome to the channel if it's your first time here and welcome back if it's not now in today's video we're going to be looking at this Astro Wars game now uh, we dismantled it in part one and I tried several things to fix it first of all I replaced this transistor because it's sort of started smoking and getting very hot and then I replaced this transistor because it was actually damaged and wasn't working as a transistor and despite that it still didn't work. It had just really taken its toll on me. So I needed to stop and have a break and come back to it with some fresh eyes. And I'm pretty certain I definitely 100% know what the problem is. And this is the problem. So can you see right under there, we've got the S06 and that is a Xena diode and I had mentioned that I'd sort of thought about that being the fault in the last part of the video, but before we can know for sure, I need to get it out and uh, have a proper little test of it. But it's really quite the pain to get to, and it's even more of a pain to film. Yeah, I'm gonna take it out and we're gonna put it in my component tester and we'll test it with a multimeter as well and see what it's doing. I watched By It Fix It's video on the Astro Wars and he had a heck of a time, a bit like me, and it also came down to it being that diode, which um, I think it is. Now he also used a brilliant method, which I'll go into, which means I don't have to wait for ages for one of these diodes to come from America, and hopefully we can get it fixed and working right now. That's the theory anyway. So I'm just going to whiz out some of these screws, get the boards out, and uh, we'll get this S06 taken off. There's not much time before those screws are out, so let's have a really quick thank you to all the channel members. So we've got our kit fans who are Matt Lovies, JRC Electrical, For the Burbs, Mark C and Wayne Cornish. Then we've got the incredible early birds who are Roberta Grissom, Dean Ball, Sean at Cablesmith Electrical, Wayne's Retro World, Tim Salt and Sorcerer Stan. Then we've got the lovely Kip lovers who are Bella Webster, Lawrence, Stairstix Fix and Richard R. Blaster. We've still got our gorgeous Kip Nutter who is Becky Becky Boobar. Thank you, Becky. And boom, we've got our kit mentor who is Ellis Garbutt. Thank you all so much. You are all flipping wonderful. Anyway, on with the vid. So yeah, we can sort of see our diode under there. There we go. I think it's this little guy causing all the drama. So I'm just putting it through the component tester and seeing what the component tester thinks this is. Interesting. Now it thinks it's two diodes. Is that maybe how Xena diodes come up? I've got some Xena diodes here. Let's see what it says about this guy. Yeah, that's interesting because this just says it's a diode, which it is. I'm feeling like this has definitely gone bang and pop. Now the problem is this guy is a 140 volt Xena diode, which isn't something that you get in a lot of those packs of diodes that you can buy on Amazon or everything like that. And as I mentioned in the last video, the only sort of supply of these that I found was from America and the shipping like cost for just something this tidy just makes it stupid. But the awesome man that is buy it fix it taught me something I didn't know that I could wire 
three 47 volt Xena diodes in series, yeah, not parallel, in series, and that would make 141 volts. So in theory, three of these makes one of these. So that's what we're going to do. I'm going to chop together three of these. I'm going to solder them together, see if we can make sort of one super diode and just put that in in place in theory. And also something I've got to remember is they've all got to have like the black lines going in the same direction. And hopefully I can make it fit into the tiny footprint of the one diode. So we've got two joined together. think that's done it. There we go. Actually, something I also learned is we can test, apparently a good diode in this position would have a voltage drop of 0.7 to 0.8. And we've got 0.4. So I'm feeling more confident. Okay, so I've just got to sort of bend the legs on this one. So they go into the rough footprint of the legs on this one. Right, that looks like it's got the same sort of leg spacing as our original-ish. Right, so uh, super janky Xena diode is in position. Legs aren't touching anything else. Right, okay, so I've just soldered on some little fly leads just so we can test it and make sure there's no little bits of metal underneath. So the switch is still bridged from before, so once power is on, it should just fire up. I <sighs> really hope this works. Darkness, my old friend, I've come to talk with you again. Uh. So there now follows about 25 minutes of footage where I'm just sort of getting a bit annoyed and testing lots of different things out. So I removed the Xena diode that I've just made and put in and I'm also testing voltages around the board using the schematics that I've got but nothing seems to be working, nothing's making sense. But then I have a bit of an idea. I was thinking, we started off with a board that worked, sort of, it played sound. The display didn't work and then it started smoking and it didn't work. And then I replaced the transistor that was smoking and then I replaced another transistor and then I replaced the Xena diode. So I thought, the, that only really could point to three different points of failure, the three different components that I've played with. So I took off this, which is the replacement transistor, and look what happens when I put it into my component tester. It thinks it's a resistor. But if I get another one of the brand new ones, again, Watch what happens. It thinks it's a transistor. So I think that basically I have blown my replacement transistor the same way that the original one blew. The Xena diodes were at fault and basically destroyed it. And yeah, it's now become a resistor. 
So I'm thinking if I put my mega diode back in and put in another new transistor, maybe it'll work, maybe. So yeah, I'm just gonna quickly whiz those both in. You've seen enough stuff, I'm just gonna put them in and then we'll go from there. <sighs> right, I've, I'm not holding out much hope, but I'm feeling a little bit happier. Maybe, positive. So this is either gonna work or it's not. Can I start a game? Like, I don't have the controls installed properly, but... <laughs> oh my God, I could literally cry. <laughs> what a success. Oh. That was hard work. That really was. But oh my God, that sound. Oh. <laughs> I've literally, I've actually just gone back to the video because I couldn't remember how the uh, transistor went in. My brain had a massive fart. It's, it's so funny. Like I've been watching Vince for years now. Been watching Steadsticks Fix for, yeah, years now. and. Like, sometimes I'm watching them and I'm like, why are you doing this to yourself, guys? It's like actually making you miserable. And I, and I get it now, that, that feeling when like, it works is just insane. It's just such a rush. I honestly had reached my limit with this, like when I fired it up and it didn't work. With that Xena diode replacement, I just thought, oh, I can't do this. I'm not very good at this stuff. And I've done it and I'm really proud of myself. I really am. Just realized I've still got the uh, power switch bridge to get the power switch on there. So yeah, I do have a Firefox F7 or whatever it's called that's uh, downstairs waiting to be fixed. Yeah, I'm intrigued by that one. It could be a similar issue. It does have some bad uh, battery com corrosion from memory. So that could play a part in the issues. I've skipped a lot of the putting it back together because you've seen it come apart. But I have actually worked out a better way of uh, putting it back together because the black bit with the controls on is actually a sort of separate part. And if you put that in first and put in these three screws, you can then put the silver bit in and um, yeah, just put it all back together. And it all makes it a lot easier with the buttons as the buttons fly out. Now, something I don't have is the battery cover. I have ordered a 3D printed one from eBay. It's a bit annoying that it's not arrived, but I just wanted to get on and film this because this, is, this has been sort of sat on my mind for, well, a good week or so now. So I've not touched it for that long. Look at it! Right, 
Let's just um, jankily try and put some power into it. As hard and as horrible as this has been at times, I'm really happy. It's been a lot of fun. Oh, sorry. It's a bit janky the way I've had to put these, the power onto it. Start again. Oh, okay. Put it on a slightly harder level. Now it does look all flickery to you, but it's absolutely fine to me. I'm actually doing all right, considering I'm playing through the viewfinder of the camera. Well, there we go. A fully working, fixed Astro Wars by Grandstand. And I did it. And I'm so proud of myself. So if you've enjoyed this video, I haven't said it all before because I've just been concentrating, but please do like this video and drop a comment below because yeah, I think I've earned it. <laughs> I've just been so laser focused. So I've got, I've got to remember now, maybe check the Xena diodes first and replace that before replacing anything else because I've blown a perfectly good transistor there, which is a bit annoying, but it's all knowledge, isn't it? We've learned something new today, hopefully. Well, I have anyway. <sighs> there we go. I hope you've enjoyed this Fix It Friday. Yeah, I've got the Firefox to come up, which I've got no idea what's wrong with it. And I've also got the RGB mod on the Atari 2600 to do as well. But anyway, I hope you've enjoyed it. I really have. But yeah, I don't have much else to say. So thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. But for now, it's game over. <laughs> <laughs>